This is my intro song because all the songs in the world are copyrighted. And this is my page. It's called Out of Range. And here's my ugly face. And I gotta go. That's my song. Ten-minute morning video. All right, good morning, people. Or fucking almost good afternoon. It's fucking past eleven. I uh, got pretty drunk yesterday, and I really slept in, and slept until I think nine. And I had not edited yesterday's footage like at all, and I even went through it last night. So I've been doing that all morning. I just finished, just finished yesterday's fucking beer, fucking booze pong, fucking shit show. <laughs> oh, all right, what fucking day is it? Oh, it's day 30 fucking five, guys. It's day 35. Two more notches to tie the record. And, uh, I don't know what we're doing today. I know we're having a bunny rabbit for dinner, which is going to go in the cast iron pan real soon. I know that we're going to put a big fucking whole bunch of soreness into these fucking hands and arms. Tying about 500 knots on a gill net that we're working on. And, uh, aside from that, I really don't know what the fuck we're going to do, but we're going to do something. And uh, I'll try to fit in some fucking ridiculousness and some stupidness and some coolness all in the same fucking, all in the same video. Uh, time's winding down, guys. Time's winding down. It's getting hard to stay, to keep up with the routine. Like, I fucking don't want to do the dishes. And we're pretty much out of water. We're going to have to start rationing the fucking booze. I'll have to do math on the booze to see, like, hey, okay, this is how many fucking drinks we can have per day kind of thing in my own brain. Because I don't want to run out of booze. And, uh, yeah, pretty soon we're going to have to start thinking about uh, putting shit away and packing shit up. and Getting ready to fucking go home. But not yet. Not yet. We still have a few things we want to do, guys, so, um... I'm going to quit wasting your fucking time this morning because uh, we've already lost half a day. Uh, I'm going to fucking, of course, head out there. As soon as I get out there, I'm going straight to those old holes. Hopefully I can fucking bang through them with the, with the ice picky thingy. And uh, we'll just drop some minnows in those old holes. And uh, we'll check the status of the lake. Maybe we can even start the fucking snowmobile today. That's been parked for three or four days. Because of the fucking ice conditions, but uh, we might be able to fucking pam 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 today. Get the old fucking two stroke smoke in our fucking nostrils. You know what I'm saying? Pam 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 pam. All right, I still have a little bit of that percolation. Warm and keep warm on the stove. Warm and keep it warm. Keep it warm on the stove. <laughs> yeah, my mouth don't work no more. Ah, so I'm going to have one more little cup while that fucking movie exports. Hopefully, uh, you, you guys fucking, you want to hear about aggravating? So when you export the movie, especially this year, because they're all over a fucking, this one's over an hour. It's such a huge file that you sit there staring at the little fucking dial for at least an hour. And then if there's no room in the phone to actually save it, it's it waits till that. It waits till the end to go, oh, by the way, you can't do this because there's no room. And then you got to go and fucking delete all kinds of shit and start over. Not knowing if it's going to fit this time. It's fucking real aggravating. But that's what I'm going to do while I have another coffee. <laughs> Not doing bushcraft shit. I'm doing fucking tech shit. We're going to do some bushcraft shit, though. Hey, tying knots on a fucking gill net. That's bushcraftish. 
if you want to watch more bushcraftish shit, you got to watch the middle of the series. The starting of the series, like the first 10 episodes, we didn't do no bushcraft shit. We we're just kind of getting ready to fucking be here, getting used to the routine, doing a lot of fishing, checking snares. Then the next 10 or 15, we did some bushcrafty shit. And now for the last, what, five, six more episodes, we're going to do more dumb shit just to make you guys laugh and make myself laugh and leave in good spirits, you know? Just making memories, doing dumb shit. So there's a 10-minute morning video for you. And uh, let's go. Let's get this fucking day started. Looks nice out, but I know it's cold. The wind's from the north. Let's go. Okay. Welcome to Chef Danny. Chef Danny. I already did this. I'll do it again, no? Fucking GoPro's pissing me off, man. I just did this whole fucking spiel. But let me start again. I'm fucking lazy. I don't give a fuck. So Chef Danny today, I ain't even fucking washing the old dishes. We usually flour this up. We fucking sear it. We put it in. Now I'm flouring it and putting it in. I'm going to put a little bit of water, onion, garlic. It's going on the fucking stove all day. That's my fucking cooking for today. I don't give a fuck. Onion. Garlac. Empty. Empty. Oh, we're down to about one. Oh, kind of frozen. We'll get rid of this. Save that in case we want some cold water. We're down to about one bottle of water here, guys. Okay. No more. Fucking water's a problem. Water is a problem. We need some snow. Okay. I'm just gonna leave that on the stove all fucking day long, guys. You know how we do. I'll eat that late tonight. Chef Danny out! Oh. Oh. Wasted half a fucking day. Looks like there was a party here at some point. <laughs> Somebody had a party. Ugh. All right, let's go drop some fucking fishing lines. Everything looks good. Lake looks pretty solid, guys. Anywhere there's old tracks is nice. Um, where there isn't, though, you could still get down to the slush, but there's pretty much tracks everywhere. And everywhere there was a black spot, like here, is now a skating rink, so that's good. We can pretty much walk anywhere we want now. It's good news. We might go on an adventure today. Hopefully I can get these fucking holes open. Um... I was just thinking, that's been there for two days with nothing. We caught a fish here, and we lost a minnow here yesterday, so... Uh, when I come back to check on him, I might move that one to... Remember we were fucking moving away into the middle of the lake? Maybe we'll leapfrog this one, like... We couldn't go there because of the black shit, but... We can go there now. So maybe later we'll uh, move that rafar rod... A little further out. See if I can get through here. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get her. Oh, remember to always put this around your wrist, guys. I've lost a few of these. Where are you? There you are. There you are. Sorry if I'm breathing heavy in the fucking camera again. But fat, not a shape, so. Although, I'm willing to bet I lost at least 10 pounds in the uh, month we've been here. If I had to guess, my belly was 
fucking round in those that first or second episode I edited, man. I was in such fucking disbelief at how round I was. Uh, anyways, let me drop these fucking minnows here. Just wanted to show you guys how peaceful and quiet it is. Let me try and hold my breath. Flying squirrel is in the tree, this tree here. I hear some weird squeaking noises. I can't believe a fucking flying squirrel showed up. You don't see too many of these, those around this part of the fucking province, man. Like, in the wild, I've only seen maybe two or three my whole life and uh believe me when i tell you i spent a lot of fucking time in the water so, that was pretty cool if you guys didn't see that whatever episode this is watch the one previous right at the end of it i decided uh i got a little drunk yesterday and ended the day early and uh once i shut the lights out i could hear <laughs> curious to see what it was because my pet squirrel fuck face usually doesn't come out at night he comes out in the morning comes and visits so i was like what the fuck could that be and then yesterday we had seen yesterday morning when we came outside we seen that we had quite a fucking few visitors overnight yeah, there was fucking mice tracks everywhere squirrel tracks everywhere a fucking rabbit ran right through here and uh, a fox ate some of our uh, of our fish guts. When I heard the noises last night, I thought, holy fuck, I gotta go see what else is out there. And it was a fucking flying fucking squirrel chewing on a piece of fucking bear bone that I hung in the tree specifically for the purpose of attracting fucking critters. And uh, it worked. <laughs> So I'm just going to do a couple of rows on this fucking net here that we started yesterday until my uh, shoulders get sore and uh, I'm bored and we'll try to find something else to do today. Okay, like I was explaining yesterday, I've never done one so this is my first one. Don't yell at the fucking screen when I don't know what I'm doing. But I've realized that on your ends, remember we leave the ends? On the ends, you, you double up the size of it to skip a row. You know what I'm saying? Like I made it the same size earlier like this, and it, it looked kind of weird. So I took it apart, and the end, you do every second row a knot, and it makes a nice square net. You see that? Oh, you guys can't see none of that. Uh, let me re-explain. So I was doing a knot at every row, and it looked weird. So then I started skipping a row, and uh, it makes a nice square end. If you didn't see it the first time, if you did, I'll let it all that shit out, okay? Let's do another row. Come get some nuts, bud. 
jumping around the tree like a flying squirrel. You're just a regular squirrel, bud. You're just a regular little squirrel, bud. Want some nuts? Hold on, I go get you some. All right, I'm bored. Let's find something else to do for a bit. Let's go check those lines. Nice, right there. And uh, the minnow's gone. Pay closer attention to this hole here, guys. All right, uh, that net's getting a little tedious, so uh, we're gonna leapfrog into another project. Uh, if you remember, about two weeks ago, we went searching for a piece of poplar, which we have here. Now, the reason I was looking for a piece of poplar is. Uh, I would like a second shot at making a kooksa. Um, if you guys watched uh, 2021's fucking 2021 episodes on YouTube, uh, you saw us try to make a carb kooksa out of the top of a log, a birch log, a wet green birch log that was frozen. Uh, we burned out the interior of it with uh, coal, uh, with uh, ambers and uh it dried and cracked so uh it's been two years i've watched a couple of videos and i've learned a few things that might help now this uh piece of poplar is a little drier first of all okay second of all uh the one guy was saying you don't carve out of the top you carve out of the side if that makes any sense so like this is the bottom of the of the cup right this would be the bottom of the cup and uh you know what i mean you would cut it that way and then carve out into that into those rings this way also um if it's already dry you can kind of see if there's any cracks in it already like this one here this has some fucking like right here is starting to uh fuck. right there is actually starting to rot i don't see any cracks when i cut it i wanted to use the fat end but I remember looking at it, it's fucking full of ice now, and it had a crack in it already, so that end is useless. And uh, this end here is not as big, but it's dry, and I don't see any cracks there just yet. So, having said all that, I think I'm going to attempt to make a kooksa out of this piece of popular. So the first thing I'm gonna do is probably cut it so we want the we want the cup to be about this big right so let's say we'll have to cut this log about seven inches okay once that's cut we'll use two axes to split it this way and we'll be left with this half moon log here okay and then uh we'll go from there okay we're gonna attempt it Coming out of the fucking uh, 
They're coming out of the snow machine. Fuckers. As long as they don't get in the cabin, I guess I should probably quit fucking complaining. Okay, let's get you where we can get some good lighting on this here so I can try to explain. Now, the reason I chose poplar also is uh, only because um, it seems like it's the softest of all woods that I could find in this fucking forest. Birch was really hard, so I wasn't, I'm not repeating that mistake. So, looking at this fucking log, I see no cracks just yet, right? And like I was saying, the center is kind of shitty. Um, but if we take, if we take this part here, right, that'll be the beginning of, of a cup, no? Or should I go this way? It's not as deep though, right? We're going to go this way. Should have probably tried this project a lot earlier in this fucking uh, series. That way, if we make any mistakes or it cracks, we get another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chances at it. Not that I want to spend my entire time fucking around with a cook though. But at least one or two tries, you know? Fail and fail again. Okay, so I want this to split real nice though. Let me just get it started like that. Like that. <gasps> Where are you going? Get back here. So this log still has moisture and is frozen a little bit, but I think it's going to be okay. There she goes. Okay. Whew. That log's fucking frozen. Okay, now we have this. Now we have this half moon. Okay. And we're going to attempt to burn out this way this time, okay? That's way too fucking big. But uh, we could carve around it later. And then you see how the middle is kind of shitty here? So a bigger log would have been better. We'd get a deeper... It would get deeper, but it will be fucking deep enough to do shots of something out of. <laughs> So let me just clean it up a little tiny bit in the center here. Get rid of some of that shite. And once, uh, and then every time I uh, check the stove, I'll try to steal an ember. And uh, we're going to attempt to burn out a fucking hollow in it again like we did the last time okay some of it anyways we can carve also but i don't necessarily have the correct carving fucking chisels and knives to do that so we're probably gonna do mostly mostly burning it out guys and the reason i do the inside first is because we don't know where it's going to burn, you know, like sometimes the burn just ends up going wherever it goes. And uh, we don't want to shape the outside of the cup and then the fucking hole burns the wrong way. So we'll burn first and depending where that hollow ends up, we'll, uh, we'll determine where we fucking go from there for the cup. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to get all the bark off and, uh, like I said, maybe we'll go look if there's an amber in the stove. Probably not. I haven't been in there in a while. But uh, another project started. We got a lot of projects started. And uh, we'll work on them all a little bit at a time. Alright, we'll 
get this outside and start blowing on it. Now, if you guys watched two years ago, I was doing this and I lit my whole fucking face on fire. So we're gonna do our best to save the beard this time. <laughs> set this out in the open where there's a breeze it should smolder for a while it's not very windy today but I'm gonna set this here and uh, we'll just continuously keep changing the coal it's gonna take a little while maybe a day or two not sure but this is how we're gonna get it done it saves your hand from carving, especially if you don't have uh, the proper tools to do that. I'm trying a new technique. Remember all that pine sap we had? I uh, put a couple of pine sap rocks down in there, lit it, and now I just put little, t the tiniest little fucking twigs. And it's like a little fucking mini campfire, you know? Now I'm remembering from the last time that, you see how the breeze is coming from the south today? Every once in a while, you gotta get that breeze to blow the other way. Otherwise, it'll burn the hole straight through one side, you know? So every once in a while, I'll spin it. And uh, I'll just see if I can keep this fucking fire going. We'll try it. Oh, my fucking pants are falling inside of my pants. Oh, please still be there. Please still be there. Nope. Fuck. We're gonna have to fucking stand out here. We're gonna have to stay out here, guys. It's two fucking minnows we give away now. Uh, he was on for a, a while both times. If the uh, if the line froze, you know what I mean. If the line freezes in that position, it means that he was there for a while. Fuck my life. Uh, I want to film shit though, like, there's only so many hours in the day for me to film shit, I can't fucking... That's just a little baby. You know what I mean? Like, if I fucking stand here staring at this line, it's gonna be a real fucking short episode, you know? But we're just fucking feeding this bastard now. Some bullshit. Almost lost that. Hopefully it's not always the same fish over and over and there's a little bit of a school going on down there. All right, I'm staying out here for half an hour. We'll do half an hour and see if we can't fucking catch this guy. Fuck, I only went to shore for maybe half an hour, 45 minutes. Half an hour, maybe. Fuck. Come on now. All right, I'm gonna go get the chair. My fucking log is burning. I hope it fucking goes out and doesn't burn the wrong way. Let's get the chair. All right, it's been like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I've decided to go, we're going to go back, we're going to prepare for the nightfall, it's only about 2.30 or 3, but we're going to go back, do the firewood, fix, get everything ready for nighttime, put everything away, uh, do one last little burn in the cup, 
but uh, then we're going to start the snowmobile and grab the auger, more minnows, a couple of brewskis, or maybe some vodkas. No, we got no fucking water. Fuck. All right, a couple of brewskis, and uh, we're going to come out and fucking, I'm going to come and sit here and fucking stare at this line and drill, move that hole to like just a little bit beyond here, like closer to this one. And uh, that's what I'm doing for the rest of the evening. And maybe we'll think of cool shit to do later on in the dark. When, but I doubt it. It might be a very short episode, guys. I'm sorry. But I have to fish now. I'm sorry. this thing in like three days. Uh -oh. Drill a hole right fucking there. Should have wore gloves for that ride. That was stupid. I'm expecting two layers. Might be wrong though. Okay, we got these fucking lines moved and active and in the water and uh, the plan was to pay attention to them. Oh, also, remember we had no water and uh, look what I found. This is what we have left of the uh, shitty fucking jailhouse line we made. Toilet line. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the plan was to pay attention to these rods because we lost two minnows on that hole. We caught a pickerel in it yesterday and it got me excited so I moved here, stopped doing what we were doing. But now I'm sitting here thinking it was a real short fucking day today. So 
Uh, we're gonna go explore a little bit. So, I have, you know, maybe there's something to film. We're gonna, I've been wanting to go to that fucking island for the longest time. So we're gonna walk there. Since the lake is not bad. We uh, took a run at it about a week ago and hit a whole bunch of slush. But if we walk on that track that we made with the snowmobile, it'll be fucking hard packed all the way there. And uh, we'll go see what it looks like. I don't know. I've never been to that island. I've fished this like a hundred times. I don't remember ever going to that island. Just a little one. Let's go check it out. Check this out, guys. It looks, it appears like we fucking hit a rock the other day when we were here, but we didn't. That's how far down the water has dropped. Isn't that crazy? I specifically remember driving through here. We never hit this. But uh, the lake's dropping. Like if you look at the shoreline, you can see it dropped a foot and a half, you know? <sighs> there must be some fucking structure going out that way. If those uh, new holes don't pan out, we might move here tomorrow. Or here-ish. And try it out, you know? But let's see what's on this island. You would have... Whoa! I just fell through the ice. <laughs> well, that wasn't fun. Huh. Well, that kind of freaks me out. My, uh, I was able to fucking catch my knee on the ledge there and just fucking roll back. I don't think it's that deep here, but imagine that. Wow. Well, maybe we won't fish here tomorrow. <laughs> Why is there no ice here? It's fucked up. It's real fucked up, guys. Oh, I got water in my boot. All right, I guess we're not gonna make it to the island. We're so close. <laughs> That's fucked up. Maybe there's a little bit of current between this rock and, you know? Maybe it's got a little bit of current here. Oh yeah, I got it. Ah, I'm a little scared to fucking jump off of this rock here, guys. I guess we'll just follow our old fucking steps back. That's fucked up, man. I wish I had my, uh, my thingy. It's at least fucking three feet down, no? I felt my toes dangling down there. I was able to fucking keep my fucking, keep afloat, kinda. Fuck. All right, let's attempt it. <sighs> <laughs> Walk with your arms out, guys. Well, I guess uh, we'll visit the island some other time. Maybe in the summer with a boat. <laughs> Fuck my life. I just drilled through fucking two feet over there. Almost the whole auger. Ugh. We wanted an adventure. I guess we got one. Fucking shitty. It looks real nice on that island. It would have been a good spot for the cabin, minus the fucking wildlife, you know? But, uh, yeah, it's all cuts back there. I was gonna say, you could just cut through there to hit the fucking forest, but it's all cuts. I think we're good where we are. Right there was a good spot. I have no complaints with where we put the cabin. And I'm also, uh, knock on wood, fish cops has, have left a, le, bro, the fish cops have less, left us alone. Fuck, I feel crackling under my feet now, freaking me out. Um, so we didn't have to fucking move it, right? And be on the ice. Because that ends up being a clean up nightmare, man. You know? And uh, when we had that thaw and everything turned to shit, 
The cabin would have been fucking a nightmare. We would have had to jack that up two feet in the fucking air to not be still stuck in the fucking lake till the fucking spring, you know? That's the danger you run. All right, I'm gonna quit fucking flapping and uh, I guess we're just gonna stare at those rods and not fucking explore so much. <laughs> Holy shit. Stupid fucking adventures. Lost another minnow on this fucking line. That's three minnows I lose in this fucking hole today. The whole point was to come out and fucking sit there and pay attention, Dennis. The ice is fucking crackling so much under my feet. Now that fucking we fell through a little bit, it's gotta freak me out. There's lots of ice here though. I'm gonna leave the camera roll and uh, maybe you guys can catch some of these crazy vibrations. And uh, if the battery dies, the battery dies because it doesn't look like we're catching fucking anything right now and it's gonna be dark soon. Why does it have to be directly under my fucking feet everywhere I go? The fuck off. Crack over there. Like crack there so the camera gets it. Oh, this is going to freeze in a second. I'm going to put it away. The ice is cracking. Trust me. Okay, guys, I'm calling her quits. My right foot is fucking soaking wet and, uh, and uh, I'm freezing. Well, my foot's freezing, so it's gonna be a fucking cold ride home, too. God damn it. It got cold, man. I didn't, uh, I haven't really fucking paid attention to what the weather was supposed to do after the, the two days of cold we were gonna get. And uh, I wasn't expecting it to get this fucking cold out. Here, ah, fucking sticking to my fingers. Okay, I think this will start. Nope. Oh. Okay, I gotta put the camera away or it'll freeze. Okay, guys, I'm just fucking drying up all this shit. My toes are frozen, so I'm standing near the fucking thing. I want to fucking drink, but we got no more fucking water. But we got this, so we're gonna make some fucking. We're gonna make some fucking. <gasps> some two ingredient Caesars. I'm gonna put vodka, clamato, and pepper. That's a fucking. Maybe some seasoned salt? I think that'll fucking. Make it taste a little Caesar-ish. Let's put a little seasoned salt in there. It's like Rimmer, you know? I don't want to put too much. Some pepper, of course, some pepper. Let's not go with the fast pour, we'll go with the slow pour. Some pepper. Think this is gonna be fucking gross or what? There. 
I'm gonna Caesar. Hmm. It's good. It's real good. God, I also wanted to show you um the bunnies. The bunny. The fire's just starting to get hot again. But uh and I added water because we're gonna fucking farfly it. Nice and lazy. There's some nice fucking rabbit chunks in there, guys. Look at that. It's falling apart already, so. As soon as this starts boiling, we'll drop some farfleas in it. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Let's fucking do this. All right, ladies and germs. You know what's up. Look at this. Look at this fucking smorgish bargish. Just blacking up some of these farpalies here. I'll try to not eat too much. I'll try it, and then I'll do some speaking. Hold on, let's try the rabbit first. fall off the fucking bone like fall off look i tried to pick up the leg and the meat stayed on the plate mm. rabbits are yummy having said that though did you know i'm not sure the exact story but it goes something like this back in the olden days of fur trapping. Um, I'm going to guess the 1800s. The uh, Hudson Bay Company employed a lot of trappers who used to leave for the winter and come back in the spring with whatever pelts. They were trappers. And uh, for years they kept finding trappers dead starved to death kind of and uh they figured out eventually that it was because they were eating mainly a diet of of uh, rabbits i call them rabbits but they're uh, uh i can't think of the word anyways hares these are snowshoe hares snowshoed hair um yeah they figured out that the diet was mostly snowshoed hair and like I said, don't yell at the TV. I'm not a fucking expert. But there's something missing. You can't just eat rabbit. You're going to starve to death. You can eat fucking 10 rabbits every day if you want. But there's something in there that you're missing for you to not die. I'm not sure what that is. You can Google it. It's a true story. I didn't just make that up. I've heard it multiple times. So that's a story time for you guys. It's a bad time. That's a bedtime story for you guys. If you're watching this late at night. It's really good. So I'm going to wrap a this day. Day 35. It's winding down, guys. I know uh, we didn't do much today. We uh, continued that fucking netting. We started a cook, so. But uh, that's about it. We didn't do much. I fucking didn't get out of the cabin till noon. <laughs> I was hung over this morning. I hadn't fucking edited that. I was just out of it. And like I was saying in, in the last couple of episodes, I'm losing motivation. It's getting hard to fucking... It's getting repetitive and, and boring to me, you know? I miss kids and my friends. and I'd like to go see a lady. Anyways. That's neither here nor there. And, um... I'm sure you guys don't want to just fucking listen to me talk at the end of this episode. You probably just want to skip to the next episode, which will be day 36 tomorrow. So, uh, please tune in. Please like this fucking video, even though it wasn't one of my best. Like it anyways. And um, subscribe to the page if you haven't already. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Until then, stay fresh. Cheese bags. Doses.